Good morning! I'm Polarized Moon, and welcome back to RuneScape. We're in the middle of being attacked by a dragonkin here, and I have to release death again. Um, well, I was, uh, well, I was <laughs> in between episodes, Ichthalarian died. So let's, uh, try this again, and not get killed by a... Okay, let's get behind the shield again. Okay, death, you are free. Good, good. Things can continue on now. Gosh dang it, stop it with this. I want that in the way. Can I, I wish there was a way to turn this off. Oh no. Oh, death is awesome. Oh, we made it out. Oh man. Okay then. Well, I guess we're back here now. I am glad I encountered you today, mortal. You proved a valuable ally. You have my gratitude. I may not have escaped without you. What will you do now? There is much work to be done. I have duties to attend to in the underworld. And my absence will have had consequences. There is an abundance of souls to be reaped. We must be cautious. Gods will fall in the coming days. The Stone of Jas is too powerful to be ignored. Some may fight. Some may go for Siske. Some may employ other tactics. But everyone will want the Stone. We could be facing the start of the next God Wars. Even mortals may try to win the stone. Make no mistake, adventurer. These are grave times. Wow. We all have a part to play. Clearly, Sliske has taken an interest in you. You will play a key role in deciding who survives the coming days. As a world guardian... Oh, okay, this is after you become World Guardian. I haven't done that yet, because that's a member's thing. I get it, I get it. Okay. This is the most pivotal event to have occurred for thousands of years. The consequences will shape a new future. That's why I'm so important here. For your help, mortal. Our paths will cross again, I am sure. Wait. Did you bring Sliske to justice? Not quite. I am afraid he had many bargaining chips. However, the events that transpired were of greater importance. Yeesh. But what about my brothers? He's a murderer. Do not fear, mortal. I will free their souls so that they may rest. I really like this death. He looks so cool. Farewell, adventurer. Bye, death. What a day. Yeah, right? Thank you for all your help. I am eternally grateful, adventurer. Take these as thanks. They are the least I can offer. You can use your invitation box to return to the Empyrean Citadel, where you can collect extra rewards, discuss lore, or even meet friends. Cool. Uh, it's combat lamp, XP lamp, prayer lamp, light shadow, cosmetic mask, and the book of the underworld. You can use your invitation box to teleport to the Empyrean Citadel. Receive extra rewards, some of which are high level. Cool. Awesome. Missing presumed death. Oh, presumed death. I didn't get that until now. Book of the underworld. Oh, jeez. Okay, uh, I do have quite a bit of time left in this episode, so let's, uh, before we do that, wear Mask of Sleeske. Oh, duh, I have my, uh, switch to light. Mask transforms and it begins to glow with light. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Um, can I get it back somehow? You can get it back from the Statue of Death. Uh, I'll keep that for now. Um, let's use these for now. So yeah, grant me all this stuff. Agility, fine, I don't... Uh... What do I want this in? I think I want it in Constitution. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to hit. 
Let's see. Combat lamp. Uh, 55. These are all pretty close, but I like to keep them fairly even. And magic. Uh, yeah, let's do constitution. There we go. That gets me more HP later on in the game. Uh, so let's read this book of the underworld. An excerpt taken from the memoirs of Therisk Temphir of the Crux Equal. In my time working with the Guardians of Guthix, I have been lucky enough to share many conversations with death. I have learned much of the afterlife that I believe no mortal will have ever learned before. This is my understanding. Death, also known as the Grim Reaper, was tasked of reaping the souls. This seems quite literally meaning serving the, severing the link between the soul and the body. Its tether is the physical world. He then brings the souls he has harvested deep beneath the surface of Gilinor, to the only crossing an endless river which separates the realms of the living and the dead. The river Nomen Nomenon. It's a cold, dark place where a thick veil of fog hangs in the air. This is where Death says he leaves the souls to cross over the long stone bridge over the river Nomenon to the realm of the dead. But it is not where their journey ends. As far as I can tell, the realm of the dead is separated into three regions. On the far bank of the river are the gates to the underworld. Past the gates of the underworld itself are beyond the underworld which is the afterlife, which many would describe as heaven. The gates of the underworld are where Ixlerin stands guard. He is more concerned with looking after the dead. The underworld is a terrifying place filled with all manner of horrible creatures. Ixlerin shepherds the souls through a gauntlet of devour beasts of his sister, Amiskit's creation which roam the underworld in packs, relentlessly searching for souls to consume. According to death, Ixlarain protects them until they reach the afterlife and can be released, guiding them through the darkness with his blazing green torch. He then dutifully returns to his post. Death tells me that inevitably some souls are devoured and lost forever. Perhaps unfairly, Ixlarain takes responsibility for this and bears the weight on his shoulders. I believe death rarely goes to the realm of the dead as he has showed particular disinterest in describing it. Thousands of years ago, before she became the Devourer, Amiskut would stand opposite Ixlarin beside the gates of the Underworld, both atop separate pulpits. Amiskut would offer the most worthy a choice to be reincarnated, or continue to the afterlife. Death claims she would ascend to the surface world with those she accepted and return them to life. As her mind has become warped, she is no longer the god of rebirth. Instead, hell-bent on devouring any souls that she can before they reach the afterlife. Now the pulpits stand in ruin over the banks of the river Naumanon. It has come to my attention that this is only the underworld at Forgilinor. There are separate worlds for ones for each separate ones for each world. Most people considering Gilinor as their home will pass on to this underworld, but some will go with different home worlds may go to their own. This explains the different races' beliefs of the afterlife as many will return to an underworld of their home. Although he is unwilling to shed much light on the subject, I believe that death is sometimes unable to completely sever a soul's tie to the physical world. It seems due to an overpowering will to stay or unfinished business. This is why there are ghosts in the surface world. They still remain attached to the realm of the living. In some cases, a person's fate may hold great importance to the future of Gilinor. Death has been tasked to return these chosen few to life. For some reason, Death was reluctant to discuss what happens when a god dies. He did, however, detail that god gives the, the right to an afterlife when they ascend. Instead, their energy is transferred back into the world upon death. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. I can destroy that book now. Because I read it. Uh, let's open that. I want to go back up there and see what's up there. Oh man, this is so cool. All right, are, are all the oh oh so the the statue of death is just right there. So what if I destroy the invitation box? Okay, so I can get that from Samwell. Cool, cool. Oh, is there someone over here? Janice. Hello, Janice. Though this game has been thwarted, Silsk's overall strategy cannot be stopped. He will be successful. This was just one plan of many, each reaching towards the same final plan. I will stand by him as he, as he succeeds. Who is Janice? His eyes look unfocused and crazed. 
So does- so does Sleesuke just, like, attach this mask to people and they just kind of bend to his will? Oh, I can talk to the mask. Welcome back, adventurer. Oh, this the one- The Citadel took some cleaning up after you left. That dragonkin really lost his temper. Ask about rewards. XP lamps? Sliske was most entertained by your efforts. He left you these lamps so that you may do even better next time. Cool. You need a constitution of... S oh, it's theater level 75. Okay, I get it. Uh, Barrow's amulets. Sliske left you these amulets he infused with his power. Consider them an invitation to the barrows. He will soon be holding games there, but for now you may shatter an amulet against a white sarcophagus to kill him before he wakes. Use them wisely though. You may only use three amulets for each one. I don't think I can go to the barrow stuff because that's in, uh, that's in Mauritania. 30 barrows amulets. Book of the Underworld? Misplaced your Book of the Underworld, have you? Here, have another. A alternate death animations? Now that you know them personally, Death or Iklarin may pay you a visit when you die. Which would you prefer? I want Death to reap my soul. Very well. Send my regards to the Reaper. Welcome back, adventurer. Listen. Uh, ask about Sleesuke's ascension. The Staff of Amadil. The Staff of Amadil is a powerful Elder God artifact which gained its name from being in Amadil's possession. Ironically, it has been used primarily for violence in Gilinor, most notably by Zamorak to kill Zaros and Sliske to kill Guthix. Okay. It seems to be the weapon of choice if you are going to slay a god, which Sliske is now in possession of. Great! That now sounds like a great thing. Of both the Stone of Jas and the Staff of Armadil, two of the most powerful items in existence. What about the Stone of Jas? The Stone of Jas. What does it do? A powerful Elder God artifact which acts as a physical store of the Elder God's energy. Anyone who touches it is infused with incredible power, but they also become a target for the Dragonkin. Why? This is because the Elder Gods tied the Dragonkin to the stone as a defense system, okay. cursing them for all of time. I see. The more the Stone of Jas is used, the more the power of the Dragonkin increases. It is not known if there is a limit to this effect. Perhaps they could grow stronger than the gods themselves. Well then. Sliske now possesses the stone and is offering it as a reward to the greatest god slayer. Ask if Sliske has become a god. <laughs> the question on everybody's lips, it would seem. Wow, there's so much going on here. You just have to wait to find that one out. This guy plays his cards close to his chest. Welcome back, Advent. Oh, and that's the cutscenes. Okay, cool. Uh, is there anything else going on here? There was that person kind of just like floating out over here. Oh, was that that other? Was that the other person that I met? Uh, I thought that one over here was a she. I don't know. Well, uh, I can destroy this. I can use that. Uh, cool. Wow, 30,000 XP. That's a lot. Oh, it's because I was at level 75 already. Okay, I get it. Um, exa uh, examine these. Uh, well, let's head back. Return to Better Samuel. Yeah, sure. Cool. So we'll uh, we'll destroy this mask for now because I don't need that, and we'll destroy this invitation for now because I don't need that, and uh, I'll keep these Barrows amulets. Um, they're only gonna take up one one spot in my my bank. So there's that. All right. 
Uh, let's see. So now, um, hmm. I might, I might do a couple episodes here and there. Maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll do one more episode of doing some, uh, oh man. I'm almost at episode 100 of this. Uh, it's not my longest series on the channel. That goes to, uh, Dark Souls, right, at least right now. Uh, but once I get a membership on this, which I have been holding off because there's so much non-members content, um, once I get a membership, I'm pretty sure this will skyrocket being the longest channel in the series, and probably will, you know, it'll be running for as long as the, the game exists, really. Uh, so let's throw this stuff in the bank here. Uh, I'll throw this under the members stuff, because I, I don't think Barrow's stuff is open to, uh, open to free players. I have one of the Barrow's... I, I can get a... What was it? Lucky Bandos chest plate or something? I don't know. I got it from Treasure Trail... Or Treasure Hunter. Uh, but let's see what we've got for achievements here. Uh, let's... Uh, was it? The Desert. View the Duel Arena. Cast a fire... Craft a fire rune at the fire altar. Perform a troubadour dance emote near the dancers outside the Kithrod app. Okay, cool. Let's, uh... Let's take my fire talisman. We'll go get a... We'll, we'll go grab a couple of fire runes, and we'll make a fire... Fire runes at the fire... Uh, the fireplace. And then we'll, we'll do all those, uh... We'll do all those ones today. No, I wanted to teleport, please. Thank you. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. Let's teleport. Perfect. And then... Well, we'll take that rune essence. Sure, why not? I'll just grab several of them because it'll be helpful for whatever. Oh, that's a... What kind of cape is that? Warlord tunic. Oh, it's the five-year veteran cape. I have the five-year veteran cape on my other account. <laughs> my old one. I've got the 15-year veteran cape on it, too. Uh, all right, here we go. So let's teleport to Al Karid. Uh, can I not teleport out of here? Okay, no, there we go. I, I guess I didn't click on it hard enough or something. I don't know. So we're going to do those three ish things. And then, uh. Okay, so. The. Before. The, uh, the fire, uh, the fire, what do you call it? The fire temple thing was just north of the, the this. So where's the, uh, oh, score, scoreboard, there we go. I had to view the scoreboard, that's one of the things. Cool. Memento Mori. Remember you, Memento Mori, that means like, Remember that you die. Okay. Uh, yep, here we go. This is actually a lot closer. There we go. Fire at will. Alright, do I have the Trobador dance? Is that a thing that I can do? Uh, where's my emotes? Proto pack pulled away. What is that? Whoa, that's creepy. Was that from uh was that from that quest that I did? Uh let's see. Uh Trobador Dance. Okay, I do have it. Living on borrowed time. All right, so let's head over to, uh, let's head over to, where is, it's over here, right? I think so. I think this is where it is. We're going to head this way and do all the things. What is that? Dark tunnel? I wonder where that leads. You guys are over here somewhere, right? Oh, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna dance with you guys. Strike Worm Hunter. Oh, that's right. Forgot about that. Alright. Uh. 
Should I should I stand right in the center and do some dancing? Uh, actually, I'll stand right out in front because why not? There we go. Look at that. Oh, I'm almost synced up with that guy. That is so cool. Alright, so I think that's about all the time I've got for this episode. Like and favorite if you liked the episode. Subscribe like me. Good night. And I will, uh, I'll probably do a little bit more, um, doing to more, uh, words. To do more of these tomorrow. Bye-bye!